Welcome back, guys, to the awesomeness that is Ostriv, our little sleepy Ukrainian village. Uh, I'm going to crank this up, and I'm going to keep the game cranked up, because uh, our only real restriction now is, is building speed. It's all about just getting stuff built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and free up as much labour as I can. Now, how are we doing? We have got uh, a total of 31 people in the village, 22 adults, 11 men, 11 women. And you can see that um, women are constantly looking for jobs. We haven't got enough jobs for women. So what I'm going to do, let's see, we're into November. I'll probably allocate some women to the farm later. And we've never got enough guys. Pause for a second. We've never got enough guys. We've got five open vacancies for men and no men to fill the jobs. So go to the granary. Yeah, we've got a man working here. Les. Les. Uh, Kaiselitsa. Yeah, Les, you're fired. And I'm going to change the hiring option so that we don't hire men to do that. I want women to, to do those jobs. And I'm going to hire like, man, let's hire three women into the granary. What the hell? Right, so now, with a bit of luck, Les will fill one of those jobs for men. And yeah, the number of women looking for jobs is going down. Hooray! And then, like, when we actually need people, like out in the fields and stuff. Uh, we'll get them doing that. Now, I want to hire a manager for the farm because we're going to automate our crop rotation. So let's hire a manager. Oh, uh, is it a woman? Now, because if it was a man, I'd fire him till we got a woman because um, I want women doing the, the jobs that women can do. And um, I could hire some, like I said, I could hire some women workers, but I'm not. Now, as soon as we hire the manager, we get more options. We can actually set like what we're going to do in subsequent years. So you can have a, like a, a proper crop rotation. So what we're going to do, in the first field, wheat, we're going to have wheat. Then we're going to have potatoes the next year. And then the next year, it's going to lie fallow, right, to recover its nutrients. This one is going to be hemp. And then um, this is going to be hemp, fallow, and then sunflowers. This is going to be sunflowers, then hemp, and then fallow. This is going to be potatoes, then fallow, and then wheat. This one is going to be, well, let's see, this is, this is a wheat, so this must be potatoes. And then this one is fallow. So that means that if you look, we're growing potatoes the second year, we're growing potatoes the first year, and we're growing potatoes. Uh, that's the second year. Uh, no, that should, hang on, that should be wheat, potatoes, fallow. Potatoes, fallow, wheat. Oh, that shouldn't be wheat. Um, so uh, this one, this one should have been, yeah, this one should have been fallow and then wheat and potatoes. Got that one wrong. There we go. So now, so we're growing potatoes the first year, the third year, and the second year. We're growing sunflowers the first and third years. And so this should be fallow sunflowers and hemp there we go so yeah hemp year one year two year three so we're always growing all of the crops excellent right like i said i'll hire some i'll probably hire some workers in for the spring now where are we we're coming up to the winter i've got three fishermen in here i'm going to free them up right because i want them doing building work and stuff rather than other things so off we go right charge now this granary here i need to knock that down so i'm going to tell them demolish that and now these benches i'm going to get rid of these benches and i'm going to get rid of that because i've got plans for the center of town so i'm going to get rid of that bench as well and then we're going to start putting in some other stuff they're building this house at the moment i do want them to demolish that right up here First thing I'm going to put in is a cow shed because we're going for the animals. Oh, yeah. So, um, actually, I'm going to get rid of that house. So, demolish, continue. Boom. Right, so, cow shed. Cow shed. Cow shed goes flipped around. Uh, now, I do want this kind of sort of lined up. Like as close as I can get. Come on. Oh, man, it's so difficult to get it to line up, like, absolutely. Come on. There we, yeah. That's close enough. That's close enough. So that cow shed is going to go there. Now, 
Cows have to be fed and watered. Right? So over here, we're going to put in a well next door to the, to the cow shed. Uh, I'm actually going to flip it around that way. So well goes in there. Well, well. And then next to the well, we're going to put in hay barracks to store hay. So I'm going to flip, oops, wrong way. Flip that around that way. Now these hay barracks, I, I love these, right? Because you can see you've got these great big poles sticking out and it's like, what the hell are they for? As they stack up the hay, you'll see this when we, when we start getting some, as they stack up the hay, they raise the roof. It's so cool. Now if I hold down the shift key, I'm going to put in one, two, come on. One, two, three, I think we'll have four of these. Now, how do we get hay? How do we make hay? Well, we make hay while the sun shines. I'm going to take these. Now, I think that, ha that these hay dryers, you, you can see it's a circle, and they, they basically cut the grass in, in that circle, and then they put it onto the dryer to dry, and it dries into hay, which they then feed to the animals. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use this area, like kind of along the riverbank, which you can't build other stuff up. Oh, now, uh, ah, I'm glad I saw them, because that's people coming to town. Let's get these put along the riverbank. So, ah, I should have held the shift key down. Um, one, two, I think I'm gonna have like four of these. One, two, three, and four. I think this is a really good use of space along the riverbanks. And they look quite good as well. Right, this is new people coming to town. Let's slow this down. And this is like a medieval thrill ride. They pay extra to be taken along the steep side of the riverbank. And they're like, like scared it's going to tip over. Is it going to tip over? Is it going to tip over? It's like, it, this is the medieval equivalent of Planet Coaster, let me tell you. So who's just arrived? Uh, Ilya and uh, Marina and their daughter. Good Lord. Blah, blah. That's, she's going to be called Blah, Blah, Blah from now on. There we go. We'll keep an eye on Blah, Blah, Blah. Blah, 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 um, <laughs> Matt Vienko. All right, cool. Welcome to the village, blah, blah. <laughs> Good old blah, blah. Right. Uh, now, as well as putting those hay barracks there, and that's kind of a good setup because, you know, we've got the hay dryers and then the hay is stored there and then we've got the cows there. And the hay is fed to the cows. This is the fodder for the cows during the winter. In the summer months, well, like in the, like the rest of the time, so apart from the winter months, they're out in the fields. They'll be out in our, in our fallow fields. Um, now, we've got a bit of a gap here. So uh, we want to be able to like make some money. It's always a nice thing. Let's speed this up now. There's no reason to slow this down. Uh, we need to make, make some money. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in an oil workshop because sunflower oil is a great way to make money. Now, is this still lined up with this? Yeah, not so much. Oh, come on. Like, I think I'm making it work. Ah, that's pretty, that's like, pretty, that's pretty close. I'm going to put that in, uh, move it a little bit this way, I think. I'm going to put that in there. So, we're putting in an oil workshop. Now, that's going to turn sunflower seeds into sunflower oil. And it does it at a ratio of, um, one to two. So one sunflower seed gets it turned into two oil. So we're doubling our resources. And, um, and then we can sell them to other towns. And we'll get to that. Now, they've demolished this granary. But they leave behind this stuff on the ground. Which is kind of annoying. And the problem is, because everything that I'm building at the moment is closer to either the forestry or the smithy for, like, for nails or whatever. They're, they're not picking this stuff up. So what I'm going to have to do is get it moved into the warehouse. So... If I go over here and I say, yeah, it's still wood in here. Uh, how much wood have we got? Let's see, we've got 260 wood. So hold down the shift key. You can in uh, do this up in increments of 10. I'm going to tell this, like, store like 400 wood. And nails, how many nails we got? We've got over a thousand nails. So I'm going to have to crank this up to a blooming thousand. Oh, which is a lot of clicks. It's a shame that you can't type the number that you want in here. It would be kind of useful. Um, this is the only way that I found to actually shift this stuff. Right, again, higher options. I'm going to say, um, don't hire men. 
So we get the women to do this stuff. And we'll hire like a couple of women to start moving this stuff. Oh, look, look. And instantly they start picking up the wood and carrying it away. Ha, 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 ha. Perfection. Excellent. That's all the wood. This is nails. No. Oh, they're doing the wood first. They're going to take all the... Now, you know what? Uh, now that they've got that wood moved, I'm going to crank that down and then hope that they come and get the nails. Yeah, that's fine. You're going to come and get the nails. They're not. They're, they're going to get the closest nails, which are in the smithy. So they're going to go and get all the nails from the smithy first before they come and get these. And the thing is, I can't build here. Let me show you. Um, if I like pick it there. Well, let's pick the build I'm actually going to put in, which is the trading post. Can you see there's like a little orange square there, which is those nails. And I can't put this here until that's gone. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, does, it won't fit in until that's gone. So, uh, it's what it is. It's what it is. How are we doing? How are we doing over here? Cow shed, almost built. They've already started on the oil workshop, which is freaking awesome. Still got to build the well. Ooh, things are going rather good. Things are going rather good. Sweet. Uh, did, 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 anything else that I want to be doing? I don't think there really is because it's all about look now look at this building getting finished They put in these panels. I'll show you this building like during the during the, the summer months um, But it's 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 a shame it wasn't built in the summer because it's awesome the way they put this together And the, you'll see that the roof you can't see it in the winter because it's covered in snow, but the, um, the way the roof is constructed is really nice Noisy and then uh, you've got these ramps for the to get the animals into the into the building it's going to be very, it's going to be so cool. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Now, let's see. Uh, what do we need to do in here? We will need some workers, but there's no point putting workers on it until we've actually got some animals coming in. Um, the oil workshop. We will have workers in here turning the, turning the sunflower seeds into sunflower oil. But again, not until... Not until this is finished. So, um, I guess... Uh, kind of depends if they move these bloomin' nails or not. If they move these nails, I can get the trading post put in, which is which really is the next thing. And we're now into February. Now. They've skipped ploughing, and they're starting to sow the fields. Excellent. So that's all going nicely. Let's have a look at the labour situation. We've got a bunch of labourers. Hire options. Don't hire men as workers. Let's get uh, let's get like three slots opened up for women. Cool. Do 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 do. Uh, now I've got no fishermen on. That's fine. Um, I could free up my thatcher for a while, but I think I think we'll have enough labour to get this done. These fields aren't that big, so I think we should be okay. Although we've only got like a couple of people out there at the moment. Um, oh, I can free up. Let's free up a couple of people from the granary. Go and work on the fields. There we go. That's better. That's more like it. Right. The oil short workshop is almost finished. Are you gonna move these freaking nails ever? There's just like 41 nails sitting there that can't get moved. Oh, that's only a thousand. That's why. Ah oh, man, let's crank that up to like 1,200. How many, how many nails we got in there? Are you gonna come and get these? We got 240 nails in there. So no, that needs to be even more. My God, let's crank it up to like 1,400. Right, once they've got all the nails out of the smithy, then they'll move that. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, there we go. They've done it. Right, pause while I place this building. So, what do I want? I want trade and transport, trading post. Now, this building, I was put, I was thinking about putting this in different places, but I think this building just is great as a centerpiece for the village. Um, so, now, I, it's very limited where I can put this. I have to have it this way round, because otherwise I get this uneven terrain. 
And I've, there's a space of like two pixels or whatever where I can actually get this in, which is there. <laughs> it's like, there's like a couple of pixels that I can put it in. So yeah, I want it there, I think. Boom, in it goes. Right, get that built, boys. Here we go. Get some stuff shifted in there. Right, now, um, do, 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 do. Um, do I, like, do I even, yeah, I can leave that. Um, do I want the nails moved? Now, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of those two workers. I think I'm going to do something else. I think I'm going to work on the farm or something. How are we doing for people? It looks like we've got everything planted up. That's a fallow field. That, yep, yeah, that's sown. That's sown. That's sown. That's sown. And that's fallow. Now, I should have got the manager um, in earlier than I did. I was a little bit late putting the manager in. So it hasn't, it hasn't automatically moved the field onto the next year yet, but it will. It will next year. So we might have one year where our nutrients are a little bit down on what they should be. But once we've gone through a full cycle of three years, it'll all be rocking and rolling. All righty. So the next thing is to get this built. This will allow us to set up export routes to other places, uh, to other other towns on the island, to Marifa and uh, Balaclia and Dahachi. And then we can start selling stuff and buying stuff. Now at the moment, the, the, the places where they have stuff and where they their demands and what they'll sell and whatever is all fixed. So like, um, if you want animals, Balaclia. If you want, uh, if you want to sell your sunflower oil, you sell it to Marifa. Um, if you want to sell shoes, you sell them to Dahachi. It's always the same. It doesn't change. But I'm assuming in the future, it, like the whole the whole trading thing, will be um, will be a lot more flexible. But it's still staggeringly cool. And this is remember, this is very 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 early access. I can't, but I I cannot wait to see where this game is going to go. I think this game is going to end up um, like as big as Banished, because. The, the game is just, it really does pull you in, you know? The architecture looks nice. The details, the attention to detail is really nice. Look at that. This is what I meant. Look, look at these, these wooden shingles along the top and a little bit of decoration and then the thatching. The textures are all pretty nice. Love that. I mean, look at that. Love this. The animations are good. There are some animations that still need to be added. But, yeah. And, like, th there's no music. Music is a big thing. This needs some good music to kind of give you that, you know, ambiance. You know? Because at the moment, all you've got is my freaking whiny, drony voice to listen to. Be so much nicer if there's a, bit of a little, little bit of background music. How are we doing? Uh, answer, we're doing good. We're uh, we're looking for some builders. How are we doing labour-wise? Oh, and we're done. We are done. Right. First thing I'm going to do. do, 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 do uh, can I hire? You no, know, you can't hire women into this. Uh, first thing we'll do is hire a manager. Now, as soon as you hire a manager, oh, let me show you, because this is a big stuff. Um, build a training post and hire a manager, like I just did, uh, to be able to create new trade routes, assign workers for loading and unloading trade wagons. So what that does is it unlocks trade routes. So now, if I click on Marifa, for example, I could send, a, I could pay money to send a messenger to Marifa. Now, um, that is economically. Oh, look! <laughs> now, would you believe it? We've got a messenger from Marifa has just arrived. Now, um, I'm going to get some workers in here to start converting our uh, our sunflower oil. Now, that that messenger from Marifa is going to be here for a while. Um, it's usually like two to four weeks or whatever they'll stay. And during that period, we can we can trade with them. And uh, Marifa are saying that they will buy sunflower oil and sunflowers, and they will sell hemp and wheat. And but but like I said, sending a messenger there costs you like ninety. If I sell ten sunflower oil, they sell for like ten gold each. So that would be like a hundred gold. So it's not economic to send messengers out like unless you're desperate so like if i was absolutely desperate to get some cows or something that would send a messenger to um uh, balaclia and that only costs 30 to send a messenger to balaclia so like you might do that but 
just to trade with uh, Marifa, you're better off just waiting until they come to you. Right, how are we doing with the sunflower oil? Ho ho, we're starting to turn sunflowers into sunflower oil. Let's have a look. We got any yet? Sunflower, sunflower oil, no. Come on. Come on, guys, get to work. Get to work. Make me some money. Now, there's no panic for that, because, like, if the messenger goes away, he'll come back. I mean, they all... I, I think all the messengers come at, like, at least once a year, so it's not, like, a big deal. Um, oh, look, look, they're bringing the hay in that's dried now. And st look, look how the roof goes. Up. How cool is that? <laughs> that's, like, coolest thing in the game. Coolest go thing in the game so far. The hay barracks. So how much we got in there? Oh, that's the field. Um, right, so that's full. That's got 10 hay in it. So we've got 10, 4, 2. So that's 16. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Just just for dressing this up. Um, now, benches. Benches are kind of important. Uh, can I squeeze a bench in there? Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, go in. Oh, there we go. That's the closest I can get it. Benches are important. Um, workers need to rest. And if there aren't benches around, then they have to go home to rest. So uh, I'm going to put some benches in around the place. But I want to dress it up and put some... I might put some hay barracks in. I'm going to put, yeah, I could put a hay barrack. Hold down the shift key. I'm going to put one there. Let's rotate you a little bit. I'm going to put one in there as well. Because I, I think they just I think they just look nice around the place. Especially when they've got a little bit of hay in. Cool. Uh, more benches. Where can I get benches in around the place? Decorations, benches. Do, 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 do. Well, we can definitely get one in behind here. Let's flip you around. So let's have a bench that end. Uh, let's have one. Maybe, maybe one tucked here in the shade. There you go. Nice shady sit down in the summer. Where else? Where else do I want one? Uh, be nice to have one over by the, the forest. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, the nicest place to put them would be in front of houses, but you can't because they've got this kind of entrance zone where you can't put stuff. So I could, no, I could put one in there, kind of next to the house. Yeah, that's actually maybe not a bad place to put it. Let's flip you around. And touch it that way. Let's put that right on the corner. Boom. And do, 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 do. Where else? Where else? Where else would I want one? What about one down on this corner as well? Boom. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put some like up by the market and stuff, but I want to put the other market stalls and things in and see how that kind of plays out first before I start putting stuff like this around. Um, oh, now, I need more building. I've got to keep building going all the time. Uh, I, I could put a bench, like, behind here might be nice. Yeah, go on then. Flip you around. And let's put a bench there. I think I'll probably squeeze one in here as well. A bench there as well. Right, that'll do. That'll do for now. Oops. Right, keep going, keep going. Right, building. Um, let's unpause that. Continue. Oh, man. Uh, right, let's see what's... Oops. So, Marifa. They want sunflower oil. Have we got any sunflower oil yet? Do -do -do -do. Sunflower oil. Pause. We've got 19 sunflower oil. Ho, 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 ho. Let's sell some sunflower oil. Let's go back to town. Let's sell some sunflower oil, shall we? So we're going to here, export stock, sunflower oil. Uh, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and jump this up in tens. I'm gonna say like, store 100. Cause I just want all the sunflower oil for export. Is there anything else that I wanna export? At the moment, there really isn't. I need, um, I need at least one worker to load up the trucks when they arrive. Right, so now I can go to here and I can say, okay, sunflower oil. I will sell you 19 sunflower oil. They're going to pay 10 gold per unit. And so we get 190. Now that's going to put us into a nice profit for this year, just selling that. So, boom, deal. Now look at this, because I really like this. Look, you get a little wagon. <laughs> you get a little wagon. You can see the progress as it comes to town. 
that's our goal. I know it's a tiny thing. I know it's a tiny thing. Um, let's see. We are in the summer. Mm, do I want to put a worker? I'm going to put somebody. How, many, how much fish we got? Do, 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 do. We're down to four fish. Let's have at least one fisherman out. Bringing the, keep bringing the fish in. Right. I want some more houses. So, because I want to keep bringing in people to the town. Let's have a house uh, there. And a house... Come on. Ah, let's put the one in on this side first. Um, if I flip you around that way, maybe. And put that in there. Now, can I get a... Oh, I can get a house in there as well. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Right, let's put a house in there. And then I want to flip this around that way. Come around a little touch. Oh, come on. Come around a touch. And that'll do. I think that'll do. Yeah, do I? Yeah, I think I'm going to try. Can I get another one in? Uh, uneven terrain. Oh. Oh, won't quite. Oh, it will. It will. Boom. In. And can I get one there? Let's see. Can I see if I can get a get a house in here? I, I did. I wasn't expecting that I would be able to get a house in here. Um, if I hold down the alt key, no, 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 that's not going to work. Okay, never mind. Right. Uh, what I want to keep an eye out for. Oh, look, it's just arrived. I just missed it. This wagon. You just saw it come to a come to a stop. This wagon has arrived to uh, to pick up the sunflowers. So now our worker who's in here will start picking up sunflower. In fact, if I click on this, you'll see. Um, right, so he has now said, right, I'm going to pick up some sunflower. So it reserves it, right? Then he goes and grabs it, puts it in the wagon, reserves the next one, boom, 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 and loads up the wagon. And you can see the wagon has now got four sunflower oil on it. And as that gets loaded up, if we go to our treasury, you can see export. As it loads up with the sunflower oil, uh, in fact, if I pause, how much how much have you got? He's got seven, so we should have made seventy profit. So let's have a look in the treasury. Yes, we made seventy profit. So we are making a profit this year. <laughs> look, seriously, like nobody moved out in the first winter. Uh, nobody's died. Nobody's hungry. Nobody's poor, and uh, and we're making a profit. Who are you and what have you done with Skystorm? <laughs> oh, it's amazing, isn't it? So, um, do I really need two guys working in there? I don't think I do. I think one's fine from now on. If we get like a big crop in or whatever, then we can change that. But Right, they're getting the crops in. It's August. They've already got the hemp, the sunflowers. And then, unfortunately, the game crashed. And um, it's actually crashed twice, and I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm going to hazard a guess and say it's something to do with this, um, this delivery of sunflowers, uh, sunflower oil. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure if this is going to work, but we're going we're gonna to give it a try. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to try and change some stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce this down to like 10. Um, and see now. Let's see what we got over here. Sunflower oil. We've got eleven in stock. We've got seven over there. Okay. Well, let's um, let's crank it up and see what happens. Um, they are doing the harvesting. This is where we're up to. So. You're getting the sunflowers in. Excellent. We've got sunflowers there to be harvested. So there's all the harvesting to be done. How are we doing for workers? We're doing okay. We've got six people, which is enough to deal with this. We've got plenty of hay so we can get the animals in if we ever get the animals. Now, here we go. Here goes the wagon off on his merry way. And it seems to be that when he disappears, the game crashes, which is, which is not good. But, so keep your fingers crossed that it's not going to happen this time. Where are we? 
Yeah. Yeah, it, look, you can see it's crashed as that wagon gets to there. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to get around this, guys. Okay, guys, breathe a sigh of relief. I've, I've managed to fix it. By, um, I had to like, delete this and then set it up again and hire an extra worker for some reason and then it worked. Like If, if I just like, got rid of this, it crashed. If I got rid of this and set it up again, it crashed. But if I get rid of this, set it up again and hire an extra worker, then it works. <laughs> don't, don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. I, but seriously, it crashed like oh, 15 times, something like that. So I'm just glad I was able to get past that, man. It is early access, so like, I mean, there are gonna be bugs. I mean, that just is what it is with early access games, but. And it's the first one that I've had, thank God. So now, hopefully, we can like get on. So we made, now the thing is, we made um, 70 from, from that deal, but, um, but we didn't complete the deal, so. We didn't sell all 19, we only sold seven. Because if, if we go to Marifa now and look at Marifa, it'll tell you that there are no active deals, so we can't complete the rest of it. So we have to wait for another messenger. Now, I think, guys, that we're going to have to send a messenger to uh, Balaclia because I really want the, I really want to get the animals going. So I'm going to spend 30 gold. But I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. We're making a very small loss. But I haven't even like put the rents up or anything. How, how are people doing wealth-wise? Let's say you got 34, you got 22, 40, 57. They're rich. 31, 39, 34, 66. Wow. <laughs> They're very rich. 61, 25, 23. They've only got 10. They're not doing very well. What are you doing? You're working at the trading place. You're working as a labourer. They should be doing pretty well. Don't know why they're. Don't know why they're not making more money, but some people are doing very, very well. You do get a, like this kind of imbalance between the between the houses and stuff. Some families do well. Some families don't do so well. It is what it is. Right? Should we? Um, should we yeah. So we're waiting for our messenger to get to. Oh, he's there. Ha! -ha right. In that case, what do we want to do? Do do do. do we want to buy some cows. Now, there are three types of cows. There are um, oxen, which are for pulling plows, and there are bulls, which are used for, for mating, for breeding purposes, and then there's just regular cows, which is um, what you, you breed your bull with. So I think what we'll do is we'll have, let's see, like if I was gonna take like 10 cows, I want a couple of oxen, and I want one bull. Now that's gonna cost me 130. Yeah, that's fine. So, go on. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. So, deal. So now, here it comes. We get a cart bringing our animals. Now, before our animals get here, it's really important to get set up with... I'm going to get, like, a couple... Now, the livestock limit is 20. So I figure, like, if we if we got, like, about 10 animals, we'll have, like, two workers. And their job is going to be to start bringing in um, hay and water so that we've actually got food and water for when, when the animals arrive. So you're actually gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. She's running around getting stuff, getting it off the dryers. You're actually gonna bring some in for their freaking animals? Yeah, they'll do it eventually. Right, how are we doing? Uh, is the wagon, the wagon should come. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, look, he's, he's herding them. It isn't a wagon, he herds them. We, I have this on slow. Here come, here they come. Look. Oh, no wonder they were so expensive. They're trained to march synchronously. How freaking cool is that? Trained marching cows. See, this is what you pay the extra for. It's like you pay your money, you take your choice. Oh dear. Chris, are you jealous? I bet Chris is jealous. I bet he doesn't have synchronized marching cows on his farm. If you don't know who Chris is, then you're not a patron. Oh dear. Alrighty. So, there we go. And now, now, you can see all of our animals in there. Let's pause while we have a quick look at this. So, we've got a range of um, cows, we've got a bull, and we've got an ox there, and another ox. Now, that means that we've got two oxen that we can use for ploughing, 
right? But we need to make a, we need to get a plow. Now, how do you get a plow? Well, you order a plow. The problem is we haven't got a carpenter. So we need to build a carpenter. So what I'm going to do, uh, am I going to pause that while I get a carpenter going? No. no, no, no. My issue now is where the hell do I put a carpenter? I'm kind of tempted to cancel that. So I wonder if I could get squeeze a carpenter in there. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't really be a bad place for a carpenter. Yeah, I might, I might try and put a carpenter in there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Carpenter, carpenter. Here we go, carpentry. Will you fit, you'd fit in there, wouldn't you? You'd sneak in that spot there. Yeah, right. Uh, oops. Uh, let's uh, demolish. And then, what do I want? What do I want? I want production, carpenter. Now, how does this building kind of look? And... Yeah, we just want it to kind of slot in there. That'd be kind of nice in there. All right, just in. I might try and leave room for it. Yeah. How far forward would it? Oh, that will come. Oh, we can get like a bench or something in front of that. Uh, maybe even a well. Oh, you know what? Let's set it back and leave ourselves a little bit of room. We'll put some stuff in front of it. Right, boom, in you go. So um, in that case, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to try. I don't, think it, I don't think I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to try. Uh, we want to pause that. We want to pause that. We want to pause that. I could try and get a plow by spring. I, I doubt we'll be able to get it done, but we'll give it a try. Can we crank it up? Let's go. Come on. Come on, boys. Work, work, work. Uh, we got anybody fishing? Yes. Stop fishing. How much fish have we got? We had, I think we started with like, we're down to like five fish or something. How many fish have we got now? Yeah, about five. So like one guy keeps up with supply. Okay, good. I want to take him off anyway because it's almost winter. How are we doing with getting the stuff? Oh, we've got all of our stuff in. All of our crops have been gathered, harvested. Sweet. Our cows are all in here. Now, next year, they'll be let out into the fields. Uh, oh, no, in fact, they would be now if I'd said use fallow field. They've got hay. They've got water. We've got plenty stored up. Oh, we're rocking. We're rocking. We've got cows. I wonder if they'll let them out into the... I don't know whether they'll let them out into the fields less next year. I think they might wait until the following year. And you can't see the cows in inside the building, in the cow shed. I've, I've tried to look in the cow shed. You, 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 I can't see any cows. It's black. I can't see any cows in there at all. So who knows what they're doing in there? Secret world domination meetings. That's my, that's my guess. That's what I think they're up to in there. Right, where's... Um, Where's this? How are we doing? Carpentry. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, hang on. Pause. Pause. And you. Pause. Right now, somebody freaking get to work on this. Oh, there they go. Now they've started. They. I've noticed that they work a lot faster if um, if you're actually not a freaking idiot. <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Totally, totally staggering. Oh man, I can't wait until this path extends all the way down here. We get the bridge and then we start doing some stuff over here as well. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Right, cows. I want to see that. I, I really want to see the cows out in the field. I don't know, because we won't see it until uh, March. So, and we're getting close to time up on this episode. We've got probably another maybe five minutes. I'll try and squeeze it in because like, I'm sure that you're like me. You want to see the cows out in the field larking about as they do. And there's different, there's different colours and whatever. So we want to see the cows out in the field. Um, how are we doing on this blooming carpentry? We haven't got many workers working on it, is the thing. Uh, what can I do? I could, t I could take a, a guy off there. I don't need two guys working on there anymore. How are we doing for sunflower? We've got 10 of 10. I'm going to crank that up to 20. Let's, um, let's try and get a stock of 20 in there. How are we doing now? We've got one labourer. We need more people. We need more people. 24 adults, 12 men, 12 women. Ah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, go, go, go. What, like, what happened? Like, like, didn't we, I, I thought we had more people than that. Oh, well. We'll get there, we'll get there. We've been building a lot of other stuff. We haven't had time to build houses, really. Because we've been we've put quite a lot of buildings together in this episode. We've got the got the trading post now, which is awesome source. We've got the cow shed. We've got the oil. We've got all of the 
hay stuff. We've got a few, got a few, even got a few decorations around the place. A few benches for people to sit out, have a bit of a rest, take the weight off. Uh, did it, did it, yeah, another one over there. So yeah, we've got, we've got a bunch of stuff done. So I'm not, I'm not unhappy with progress, but I'd love to start cranking out the houses and really get the population up. Oh, and now we get a blue and messenger. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? I'm going to ask, I'm, I'm going to buy five iron. It's always a good idea to have a bit of extra iron in, um, which is going to cost us 60. So it's like 15 a piece, isn't it? Um, yeah, is it? 15, um, no, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, oh, 12, 12 each. It says there, you idiot. Yeah, so deal. Don't you dare crash on me again. And there's the wagon coming in, bringing our iron. Excellent. Um, and what I suppose I should do is in the warehouse, uh, increase that to 10. We'll store it in there. Do I want anybody working at the warehouse? I don't think I do. How are we doing? So now you got one laborer. Um, We've got plenty of wood. You know what? I'm going to take these guys off because otherwise this is never going to get freaking built. Oh, and there we... Man, that... It got built. I'm, okay, I'm kind of surprised. In that case, uh, we'll put them back on. I thought there was loads to do on that. Carpentry. Let's get a worker. Can we recruit somebody to work there? Well, they should be able to because we had people work like, working on constructing it. Anybody? Anybody at all? No, apparently. Let's um, let's ask for a plough. Order a plough. Need two adult oxen and a carpenter building. I've got a carpentry building. Oh, now I've got a worker there. Let's try now. Order a plough. Need two adult oxen. I've got two adult oxen. Where are we? Ox. It's a fully grown, that's a, a one-year-old ox. Uh, uh, where's the other one? What? Where's my other ox? Oh, don't tell me it didn't die or something. No, I don't think it. Where's my other bloomin' ox? Oh, really? Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, we, we've got the me Oh, no, the message is gone. No! No, it's just not freaking fair. I could, I mean, I could send somebody again seriously what happened now i could turn this bull into an ox and then order a bull um you know shall i go on i'll turn that ox into i'll turn the bull into an ox and then i should be able to order a plow order a plow yes plow ordered so now what he'll do he will wander over to the cow shed He'll bring the oxen down here, one by one. If we keep an eye on here, we'll see. Where are you? He's working. He says he's working. Here he goes, look. Yep, yeah, there's one of them. Yep, yeah, brings one. Then he'll go into his office. Check on, uh, check on, probably answering the phone or something. And then uh, he'll go back and he'll get another oxen and bring it out here. Right, so now he's got the two oxen. Then we get this, this rack and he builds the wagon or the, I don't know, the yoke, the harness, whatever. Uh, and eventually we'll get a plow. Now the question is, can we get this done? We, oh, wow, God, it's noisy. Look, there we go. He's getting it. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. And boom, there's your plow, mate. And he'll deliver that to the farm. There we go. There you go. Enjoy it. Enjoy your plough. Enjoy your ploughing. Right, so now that we've got the plough, what should happen is when we get into um, the ploughing season, uh, the, the workers should use that plough to plough the fields. Now, we've got uh, four fields that are active each year, so it's got to plough four fields. But if you want to see that, pause then you'll have to come back for the next episode. Uh, we'll see the ploughing and we'll get into some other stuff. And we'll start expanding. I think there's going to be um, like lots more population. We'll, we'll build lots of houses. Um, I'm going to get this uh, forestry moved. We're going to move this forestry back here. 
And then, I don't know, we'll get into, I don't know, the, the, the tailors and we, we'll certainly get um, a weaver set up first because we've got the um, we've got the hemp. We can turn that into uh, into textiles and then get some tailoring going. We've got the carpenter now. We can get some more carts for the village and stuff. Oh, it's all awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I freaking loved it and I will catch you for the next one. Peace out.